talking in a wacky way of chalking. Charlie Chalk. Charlie Chalk. Oh, Charlie Chalk. Charlie Chalk. Charlie Chalk. Charlie Chalk. He can get you out of trouble. He can teach you how to juggle. That's Charlie Chalk. Charlie Chalk. Yeah, Charlie Chalk. Charlie Chalk. He rode a boat to sea to do some sleeping and some fishing. When he awoke, he saw an island. Was he breathing or just wishing? Walking and a wacky way of chalking, Charlie Chalk. Charlie Chalk. Oh, Charlie Chalk. Charlie Chalk. Charlie Chalk. Charlie Chalk. Charlie Chalk. Well, here we are again, ready for another day of beach combing. And of course, I've parked in the same place as usual. Nice, familiar weather, I see. I wonder what I'll find. Probably the same kinds of things I usually find. It would be nice if something different happened for a change. Something out of the ordinary. Just like the one I found yesterday. And I'll probably find another one like it tomorrow. I have to say, it would be nice to come across something unexpected like, um, yeah, what it won't. So, sit on the rocks as usual. It, it, wait a minute. That's not a rock. Well, what do you know? I've never seen anything like that before. I wonder what it is. Trader. Trader Jones. Here, Charlie. I'm over here. Hmm. Trader Jones looks pretty busy. Maybe I can help. No, I haven't got the faintest idea. Hmm. Me neither. Uh... What haven't we got the faintest idea about? About what's in that package. Oh, well, that's easy. Why don't we open it? You know, Charlie, for a clown, you're extremely clever. It's a kookery book. I've never found anything like this before. Mm. Delicious. Mm. And what about that one? Look at that. Mm. You know what, Charlie? This gives me an idea. We're going to do something different here on Merry Twit. We're going to have a feast. Really? And I'm going to do all the cooking. Come on. We've never had a feast on Merry Twit. This should be fun. This is going to be delicious. A taste sensation. Now, let's see. Put a large clove of garlic in a bowl. I don't have any garlic, but I'm sure a bit of banana will do just fine. Best peel it first, and then pop it into the saucepan. Now add four ounces of chopped mushrooms. Uh, no mushrooms, but a, a sliced banana will do the trick. Ahoy! Trader Jones! Charlie tells us A, you found a cookery book, and B, you're preparing a feast. It'll be so nice to have a change from bananas. Is there anything we can do to help? No, 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 thank you, Captain Mildred. Uh, there's nothing you American do in here. I'm doing the cooking. And it's all under control. Are you quite certain? Absolutely. Thank you all the same. I just love feasts. 
The last one I went to was when Cinderella married the prince, and there were beautiful decorations all over the place. Mary, A, that's a brilliant idea, and B, it's something we can do. What? The decorations. Trader? Trader? Any more interruptions and I'll never get this feast cooked. How about if Mary and I decorate the place a little? You can't have a feast without decorations. A, a few streamers here. B, a couple of balloons there. All right, all right. But don't do anything too fancy. I don't want everyone to get so excited about the decorations they forget about the food. Roger, over and out. Then why can't we make Riverside Lewis T. Duck coming through? I hear you're cooking a feast. I'd like you to know that I do a simply scrumptious pudding. I call it Duck's Delight. Sorry, Lewis, but I found the book, so I'm doing all the cooking. Oh, but why don't you do the invitations? A feast like this ought to have proper invitations, don't you think? Absolutely. I'll get on it right away. Now, let's hope I can make this delicious feast in peace. Let's put this red one up first. Yes, that should make the place look cheerful. How are the invitations coming, Lewis? These are going to be top quality invitations. Don't you worry, Captain Mildred. Since Trader Jones is so kindly cooking us a wonderful feast, the least we can do is help. The streamers look very nice. Now, how about some balloons? Hello, everybody. Here comes Arnold. I heard we're having a feast. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Something to eat that isn't bananas. Is there anything I can do? Yes, Arnold. A, you can put up the table. And B, you can help me lay it. Aye, aye, Captain Mildred. Where should I put it? Put it right about... Oof! Right there. It will be up in a jiffy. <laughs> Silly thing. Here, Arnold. You want some help? Oh, thank you, Charlie. I've finished the invitations. All those people are coming to the feast. Of course. There's you and me and Arnold and Captain Mildred and Mary and Edward and... You know something? This table will never be big enough for all those guests. Oh, no. Now what are we going to do? Watch. Read the label, bigger table. Well, look at that. There. That's better. Charlie, you never cease to amaze me. Here, have an invitation. For me? Listen to this. You are invited to the first annual feast on Meritwit. Food by Trader Jones. Entertainment by Lewis T. Duck. Entertainment by Lewis T. Duck. What does that mean? It means I'm going to amuse you all with the dance my father taught me when I was a duckling. Oh, oh, hello, Lewis. Hello, Edward. If you want to see my dance from the beginning, you'll have to come to the feast. Feast? Yes. Here's your invitation. Oh, thank you, Lewis. I'll read it after I finish my nap. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Trader? Trader Jones? Do you think we could have a progress report, please? Well, Captain Mildred, the feast is almost ready. That's excellent, because A, Mary and I have finished decorating. And B... I've handed out the invitations. And see, Charlie and I put up the table, and it looks really nice, too. And D, 
We're hungry. Ah, perfect. The feast is ready. Oh, goody. If you'll all go and sit down, I will bring out the food. Captain Mildred, allow me. Oh, thank you, Charlie. I think I'll sit here. Oh, <coughs> Oh, sorry. I'll sit somewhere else. It sounds like a delicious feast will be here any minute. Are you ready? Here it comes. Where are the oh, Hungry. This is vegetables and pine nuts flavoured with a hint of tarragon <gasps> and baked in a pastry shell. Ah, beef oh, oh, wow. And this is deep-fried cheese, delicately garnished with raw carrots and a light mustard sauce. Mm. Oh, trader, you're a first oh. class chef. This is going oh. to be good. And this, this oh. is my tour de force. Peach oh. and apple cream world a la mode oh, with melted white chocolate. Oh, it looks so good. Come on, let's start. Oh, trader, it looks too good to eat. But it tastes too good to look at. Mm. Mm. I think I'll try a bit of this vegetable and pine nut thing. Mm. Tastes just like bananas. Well, I've got some of the fried cheese. And it tastes like... Oh. It tastes like bananas, too. Oh, dear. You've noticed. But there's always the dessert. Peaches and apple, you say? Hmm. Um, well, I say bananas. With maybe a hint of coconut? But we always have bananas and coconut. I thought this feast was going to be different. So did I, but we always have bananas and coconuts because bananas and coconuts are all we have. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll feed it to the fish. Oh, don't bother about the washing up. I'm the one who made the mess. Trader, wait. You didn't make a mess. Oh, yes, I did. I wanted this feast to be something different, but it wasn't. It was bananas and coconuts. But, Trader, listen. Do we always put up decorations? No. Do we always sit together around a big table? No. Do we always send out invitations? No. That's right. This feast was different. And it was all because of you. Well, I have to admit, uh, I had a really good time today. I like doing something different for a change. So do we. Now, can we eat? I'm starving. You all know the food. I dumped it into the fish barrel. Never mind. I think I might be able to help. Abracadit. Something to eat. Sandwiches, anyone? Yes, please. What kind are they? Banana, of course. Charlie Chalk, Charlie Chalk Got a funny way of walking and a wacky way of chalking Charlie Chalk, Charlie Chalk Oh, Charlie Chalk, Charlie Chalk Landed on an island, now he's living in the jungle Everybody comes around to see him clown and watch him tumble 